In this video, we are going to demonstrate one of the ways you can successfully debug and test a device that communicates over the Modbus RTU protocol. We'll begin the testing process using a Windows PC, and later on, we'll show how to interact with the same device through a Crestron processor. To follow along on your computer, you will need either a USB to RS-485 adapter or if you already have a USB to RS-232 cable, you will additionally need an RS-232 to RS-485 converter. In this demo, we'll be working with a Frigomar unit, so we will be using its documentation as a reference. Start by connecting your adapter to your computer and open Device Manager to confirm that it has been recognized. If it shows up correctly, proceed to wire the RS-485 side of the adapter to your device, making sure that pin A is connected to A and pin B is connected to B. Once the connection is in place, our first step will be to identify the slave address of the device. To do that, we'll use the Modbus RTU address scanner, which you can download from the GitHub repository linked in the description below. After downloading, simply run the executable file to open the program. Inside the scanner, you need to configure the serial parameters according to the device's documentation and be sure to select the correct COM port. In some cases, the slave address of the device is already known, but in our example, let's assume it's somewhere between addresses 1 and 5. Based on that assumption, we'll set the unit start and unit end fields accordingly. For the target register, we'll enter 1, since we know from the documentation that this register represents the ambient temperature. With everything set, we can now start the scan. After a few seconds, we can see that the program has detected our device at unit 1. This tells us that the device we connected is responding on slave address 1. With that information confirmed, we can now move on to the next tool, QModMaster, which is available online for download. You'll also find the link in the description. Inside QModMaster, the first step is to open the Options menu and select Modbus RTU. Here we configure all the serial parameters so that they match the values specified in the device documentation. Once that's set, we can click the Connect icon. If the COM port and serial settings are correct, the connection will succeed, and the green indicator in the lower left corner will confirm it. Next, let's review the parameters we'll use for communication. In this case, we'll work with slave address 1, which we already identified earlier. For the start address, we need to be mindful of a small detail. In QModMaster, the start address must be entered as one number higher than the value shown in the documentation. Even though the software adds this offset internally, the request sent to the device will still target the correct register. So if we want to read register 1 from the documentation, we enter 2 as the start address. Since we're reading a register, we'll use function code 3, which corresponds to read holding registers. To better understand what's happening, we can also open the bus monitor. This will show us both the request being sent and the response received in raw Modbus RTU format. With everything ready, we click the Read Write icon. We now receive a response from the device, and QMOD Master conveniently translates the data into a decimal value. In this example, we see the value 270. Referring back to the documentation, we know this corresponds to 27.0 degrees Celsius. Let's look closer at what the program actually sent. The bus monitor shows that the request contained eight bytes, each with its own meaning. On the response side, what we care about most is the data portion, the values. In this case, the response included the bytes 010E in hexadecimal, which converts to 270 in decimal, matching the temperature displayed. As another example, 
Let's try writing to a register. We'll use function code 6 write single register. Suppose we want to write to register 3, which in the documentation represents winter mode. Because of the offset, we'll enter 4 as the start address. After sending the command, we can see that the write completed successfully. It's useful to keep a record of these commands because we'll reuse them in simple windows when working with a Crestron processor. Before we move on, let's quickly cover how to wire the Crestron COM port to the device. From the Crestron side, connect the TX pin to port B on the Modbus device and connect RTS to port A. Now let's switch to simple windows. Open the COM port configuration by right-clicking and selecting Configure Device. Set the protocol to RS485 and enter the same serial parameters we used earlier. For this demo, we'll only use the TX and RX serial signals. After compiling and uploading the program, we can open the simple debugger to test our commands. Remember the Modbus commands we saved earlier? Let's use one now. We'll enter the red command for the temperature and send it through the TX signal. However, there's an important requirement in Crestron. Every byte in the command must be written in hexadecimal format, prefixed with backslash X. For example, instead of just writing 01, we need to send it as backslash x01. Once we add this formatting to the entire command and send it, we receive a response on Rx with the expected 7 bytes. To interpret the data, we look specifically at the 4th and 5th bytes, which contain the register value. In this example, the response bytes are 0116 in hexadecimal. Converting this into decimal gives us 278, which corresponds to 27.8 degrees Celsius, exactly what we would expect. And with that, we've completed a full demonstration of how to approach Modbus RTU communication, both with a PC and directly through a Crestron processor. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. See you in the next video.